Hey addicts, I am back with my 10 month post-op gastric slivectomy surgery update. Um, got some new specs as you can tell. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I just wanted to let you know, just a quick recap, March 17th, 2012, 3.41. Got on the scale this morning and I am down 116 pounds. So, um, not as ecstatic as I used to be because there's been some things going on. Um, I think I lost those five pounds due to stress because so much has been going on um, since the last video I did a few weeks ago. Um, in the last video, I told you guys about this medication that I was on called Gapapatin. Yes, I finally got the correct pronunciation of that name of the medication. That medication is supposed to be pain relief for nerve damage since I have neuropathy. And in a way, I'm, I'm kind of tired of hearing that all this that's going on with me is because of how much weight that I've lost and to me I was like y'all make it seem like I lost like 200 pounds in five months but I had to come to realize once uh I was talking to my surgeon about everything that was going on he was like don't yell if it's to break out the calculator so I'm like oh lord 116 pounds in 10 months that's like losing you know 11.6 like on an average almost 12 pounds a month where some Americans lose maybe like 20 to 30 pounds in a year and it hasn't even been a year for me yet and I'm already over 100 pounds of weight gone. But um, in the last video how I mentioned to you I was driving and all of a sudden my vision just blurred and how I had to have one eye open and decide and blink three times and open it back up. Um, my vision got worse. I made an appointment um, with the optometrist did the whole eye exam. I wish they'd come up with another new damn machine because I can't stand the one that, you know, you have no choice but to keep your eye open so that puff of air can get into it. It's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And then, you know, you're flinching because of that puff of air. But luckily I was able to get that done. And um, when they print out the results and you go back in the room with the doctor and he was like, what's going on? You had the same eye prescription for like six years and from that test he said my right eye is nearsighted and it seems like the left eye is the vision starting to decrease and um as soon as i told him about the medication that was on and the one that got a patent he was like i just had a lady who works in the mall that had gastric bypass surgery a year and a half ago and she was kind of going through the same thing but luckily her vision wasn't that bad it's like as soon as she noticed it like the next day she was able to go to optometrist and do something about it and i think her vision is back but because you know with funds and it's after the holidays and then with this going on and so you know i wish i could have been able to go as soon as it happened but it is what it is it's gone i can't dwell on the past um basically i had to go see a specialist and I did different tests there. Um, they had the one patch, like the pirate. They do this side, then you stare straight, but your peripherals you use, if you see a light, you punch a little game show buzzer, or switch the eye, this one, look at another machine, keep straight, and look at the dot to the left with your left eye, and then there's this movement in the middle, then switch to the right eye, then another one, get my eyes dilated, then I had another thing, it looks like a laser beam, and they're like, you have to keep your eyes open. If you flinch, the machine will literally poke you in the eye, and that was like, man, let's get this over with, but um, once the specialist was through with everything, uh, he showed me the diagram of, of the eye, and right behind the retina is like a, a hole. And he was like, we don't know what it is. So you have to go and get an MRI to see what's going on. And so um, dealing with the insurance because I got an MRI in November. And I'm like, okay, it's a new year. Cut the bull crap. I need this done so I can see what's going on. So um, after the MRI that I had done uh, Friday, uh, I got a call and... Um, 
really I couldn't understand the terms but my specialist had uh, called me and told me um, I need to get a CT scan and I was like oh god so if anybody in your family has MS I'm like oh man I gotta go through this MS scare again but one thing that they did tell me um, when I got the MRI done before um, I have brain apathy and usually people that get brain apathy are like in their 60s or 70s and they have Alzheimer's and I'm like okay I, I know that but they're like well it seems like it's getting a little bit worse I'm like oh man F me dude you know but I'm trying to stay positive I might have all this going on but I was like Danielle yeah, remember back in 08 I found out that I had an iron deficiency still taking the same medication it's like my body's not liking the iron stuff and then uh vitamin b1 deficiency and i gotta keep in mind i lost 116 pounds in 10 months but danielle you haven't had any problems with your stomach like some people do after surgery oh this didn't take it ruptured it popped it's leaking is this is that no problems with that um i feel a whole lot better you know i could take the stairs you know i walk faster some of my girlfriends you walking too damn fast now and i was like oh but i used to climb and when i was all walking slow <laughs> but um just with that it's a little scary but um my vision is bad um i used to my prescription is always like negative 3.75 now um if i was reading his hand running around i think it said 4.25 or 4.75 you know some of these doctors with this serial killer handwriting i have no idea but i had to get glasses and they told me to lay off contacts for six weeks and i was like oh bitch dagger in the heart i can't wear my eye makeup and i told him i really need you know like contacts and he's like well i can give you some but your vision you know even with these glasses, it's like I can see stuff far away, like huge exercise on the freeway, but anything up close. I have to leave work while it's still light outside. Um, I've been driving and uh, leaving. It's like, oh God, you know, I can barely see. Like, okay, when I need to get over, is that a car? Is it a car? I think so. You know, like really taking a chance with it. And it's like, I thought these glasses would at least let me see everything, but it's like it's still a blur so with the brain apathy getting worse and then with this and you know like i was telling my doctors this didn't happen until november you know i had my surgery in march so you know the million dollar question why all of a sudden now you know what's going on with me but um i'm thinking worst case scenario i probably might have to get that lasik eye surgery um i met a couple of people that had it done like three to five years ago and they said you know it wasn't a problem but then I'm thinking what about 20 years down the road and your eyes really start giving up on you or some older people that um, I work with hell they got contacts on then they still got to get readers you know to see and then uh they're telling me well you've been in front of a computer and I'm like well I've been working in front of a computer since I was like 17 years old you know so soon to be another 17 years you know are you saying now all of a sudden it's wearing and tearing looking from a computer screen you know i need my vision and uh what i was thinking about doing because i have so many looks i put together so i'm thinking if i put those contacts in just for a few minutes to do a tutorial for you guys i should be okay so that's the game plan just you know when I come home, just wipe all this off, go ahead and do a look, turn it back on, bam, here's the final look, but woo, that's it. Turn the camera off and pop them bad boys out my eye because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I mean, I've come too far to let something like this stop me. I'm trying to stay positive and keep looking forward. Um, just to go ahead and wrap that up before I start crying because it's like I'm going blind, you know, god but um moving on um i really think the weight loss has become uh this few i'm sorry oh god uh these five pounds that i've lost i really think is because of stress i've been stressing you know about things going on at work um 
whole vision thing, you know, um, planning a trip to Vegas. That's why I'm kind of like in a hurry. Okay, what's the result on this? What needs to be done? If I need to search, I can get it because we've been trying to go to Vegas since last spring break, but I, I went ahead and got approved for the surgery. So I'm really hoping we can get things together so we can still make it. If not, um, wow. Hope we can get that refund back because we spent like $2,100. It's me, my mom, my brother, and my son. And for airfare there and back, like that first week of spring break, that Monday and that Wednesday, that was 2100 bucks, And that was the cheapest that I found. Every player else, like Priceline, Expedia. Like, man, you got to be kidding me. So, um, I really think, because I really haven't been eating too much. I've been just mainly fluids, like chicken broth or... Um, my EAS Myoplex uh, protein shakes, or they've come out with some uh, new versions of their protein shakes, but I stick with the Myoplex because it has 32 grams, so to still get all those nutrients in. And um, people teasing me, we're like, your face getting skinny every time I see you, girl. It's like you're getting smaller. And it's like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and, um, I really think that's what it is related to there. And um, it's just, it's usually yelling. I think that's my mom and my son having that. Um, and then my phone wants to go off. I'm sorry. Um, they have like that uh, Lois and Sue relationship. Just like me and my son have the Lois and Sue relationship. But, um, God, just phone. Furthermore, um, i still been doing just the basics, uh, crunches. I got my arm resistant bands. I was in Bed Bath & Beyond and uh, I saw that they have like a little workout section. And I saw this infomercial of like this thing that goes just around your stomach and you're supposed to like breathe in and breathe out for like two minutes and then for 10 minutes just lay there, don't do nothing, read a book, flip the TV and it's supposed to help. But I was like, anything like that sounds too good to be true. But I did see a, a waistband that you can wear um, throughout the day to like firm up. I think I might go back and get that and see if they have like a, a top, you know, because this is it's getting a little bit better. But, you know, we still got a long way to go. Um, that's really just the main spots. I notice uh, like my sides are really, really good. I just have like a little bit of bulge and you know, I think I probably need to up more uh, reps in sit-ups and crunches, but I know I really need to get in the gym. But then by the time I get off from work and I go to the gym, it's gonna be dark outside. So mainly trying to walk around uh, my department and taking the stairs. And then when I get home and do this, it's pretty much really I can do because I don't want to take a chance and drive and get into an accident. You know, that's I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to look out, you know, for my safety until I get this whole vision thing together. And um, just really, I'm trying to lose about 50 more pounds for my birthday in June. I think I can do it. But if I can't do it, you know, I understand why. Because I'm so worried about the whole, you know, my eyes. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I know I got a, a couple of emails from you guys. Uh, I haven't done mac launches in a long time um i really haven't been you know well oh that looks good but i'm not you know into this or that um when mac shop and mac cook came out uh i didn't make it in time but they're re-promoting um no not mac shop mac cook um mac with the the older lady Oh, God, what was that collection? The older lady, she had the black on, you know, like fly. Mama, 80 years old, rocking a lipstick. It was like Party Parrot, um, those shades. They re-promoted those with the Max Strength that just came out. Now, I would love those colors. They're bold, they're bright, they're very, very pretty. I may go and get those. And uh, I got the RSVP invite to attend... Um, February 5th is that uh, comic book, the Archie, you know, Veronica, Jughead, all of them. I took a sneak peek, um, a blogger that I follow, Tim Tellia. Uh, I thought she would have pictures of it, so I just went online and I found other people that already had pictures of the products. 
and it's like to me you know the the holders are very cute but i'm not gonna go buy this just because of this this case and you know no so um that's why i really haven't been doing any launches but i know they really have good launches when the summertime is coming so i'm just pretty much waiting on that and um i've been getting so many emails first of all thank you guys that just support me you send me wonderful inspiration and the new people that stumble upon my channel i just want to say thank you um, to a couple of haters that try to hate and send me an email. I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not trying to blow up like some people that have been on YouTube since YouTube, you know, even launched, you know. I'm just glad that I am able to share this journey with you guys. I really don't want to scare you guys of, you know, the things that I'm going through. But I'm me and you're you. You may not deal with some of the stuff. Um... My good friend that I met who stumbled up on my channel, uh, Miss Nicole Cole, Coco Cole, um, she had her surgery on New Year's Eve. She's doing fine. And uh, she's been, you know, hey, have you gone through this? Hey, have you gone through that? And I'm like, no. That's why I told you. I'm about me and you, you. You know, we're going to go through different stuff. Um, I am hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Sasis, Sasika, Sasika. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I hope you're doing well. Uh, who else has been sending me? I'm just going to go through it. Uh, Crazy for Colors. Um, K. Kimberly. Uh, all my other people from my um, FB fan page. Thank you for your support. Uh, Miss Marquisha. Thank you. Uh, One My Jet. Uh, Chandra, Charlene, Miss, uh, Miss Lo, <laughs> um, a friend of mine that I went to high school with, she graduated in 94, and I graduated in 97, and her sister-in-law was debating about having a surgery, and she was like, well, here is my friend, and she had, and she does this, and, uh, we talked on the phone for a little bit until my phone died, so, um, I hope you're doing well. If you need more advice, um, you know, just hit me up. Um, and guys, it doesn't matter how big or small the question is. If you have a question, I have no problem with answering you. Um, there's other people that I really need to give a shout out to, but I really need to write these names down because I don't want to hold you guys too much with this video. Um, I'm trying to lose the 50 pounds. I want to be able... I really want to get toned to say you like that I have my legs, you know, just to really firm up for my birthday. I want to get into a swimsuit. I'm not worried about no bikini. I just want to get into a swimsuit and look right, you know, no flab or anything. But then my main concern is the vision. I got to get this right or I won't be worried about no bathing suit at all. I had to, you know, find me some binoculars or something. Um, what else? I went to visit my old co-workers Friday before I got my MRI done. And I was surprised. Didn't nobody know who the hell I was. And I was like, you know, it's me. You know, hello, still got makeup on, but just got these four eyes now. And, um, a couple of them, like, they wanted to, to cry a little bit. It's like they were so happy for me. A lot of people are like, well, you were just so nice and sweet, but at times you just look so sad. And a lot of people still tell me that. I know I was unhappy with my weight and it's like I need to do something about it but having a speech impaired child, still doing everything for your family, you know, it took a minute until I finally had to say okay I need to do this and it's done. We just got to get these little, you know, holes in the road out the way but hey honey. But other than that, um, everything, I believe in God, I pray so everything's going to be okay. I ask you all to... If you can, take out a few minutes of time and pray for me as well. Because, um, and I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Um, other emails, um, just more people needing advice. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> other people needing advice. Um, how the dating stuff still been happening. It's still, you know. Uh, my last video, you know, like I said, I made my peace with it. It's just, you know, I don't know, you know, if 
It's just gonna be me and him. He'll just be my. I might as well call him my husband now, but you know, it'll just be me and my son. Um, I am in a size 16. I was a 24 when I started. I'm in a size 16, and the 16s are starting to get just a little bit loose. So. 14 is on the way. Hopefully, pretty soon I can go to Express. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, uh, Progresso soups are my best friend, especially like the 100 calorie. I know some people. I'm sorry, I need that salt. You know that flavor. It does taste different, but it's something to keep me going through the day. Um, people been looking at me crazy because I picked up on a uh, popcorn hot sauce. <laughs> it the hot sauce makes it a little bit more easier to go down because of the kernels. They kind of hurt a little bit going down, and I feel it, you know, rumbling in my stomach. But not too much hot sauce and going book wild crazy, but just a little bit sprinkled over, shake up the bag so you know it spreads. Um, Special K snacks, those pastry treats are 100 calories. Oh, those are so good. But like I tell myself, I write one. I don't even uh, bring a whole box to work. I'll just throw one in my purse and that's going to be it because I don't want to go too crazy. And uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. Um, same old, same old. Uh, Miss Mari Gutierrez, I miss you so much. I haven't seen you. Girl, I haven't seen you since my mom's birthday, and that was December 6th. It's January 22nd. Yeah, I know you're busy doing your thing, Miss Manager of MAC Cosmetics. <laughs> um, Miss Tiffany Cole, hope to be seeing you soon. Miss Nicole Cole, Cole, Cole. I got your text, you on soft food. You already talking about ocean and getting some tuna. I know. I'm gonna have to hit you up when we can meet for that. And speak of the devil, that's who was calling me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to call her back. Um, stay focused and motivated. I have a lot of haters. Um, you know, hey, I even have, like, if some people are in competition with me, I'm not doing this for no competition. I'm doing this for you. You know, if, you know, you trying to lose weight and stuff like that, you know, do you. Don't worry about me. Y'all don't worry about what anybody has to say. I, um... I was added to this group on Facebook from uh, my personal page and I took a picture and they had so many people down talking to me, ooh yo, your face cakey, this and that, like Sharpie did your eyebrows and this and I was feeling kind of down about it but then I'm like okay I took that picture in the evening, I've been wearing that makeup for like about nine hours so yeah it's gonna look a little cakey but then I'm like Okay, some of my friends are like, why are you even worried about that? You know, and then some people, oh, we're just clowning and playing. So, I took myself out that group. You know, some of these Facebook groups, it's like, Facebook is turning into a, kind of like a porn site with some of these groups. So, I deleted myself out of a lot of them. Um, but back to the main point I was <laughs> talking about, stay focused. Need any help, advice, hit me up. Research online. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Go on your first instinct. Don't jump into something because it's too good to be true or the price or the time that it's going to take you to heal. Do your research. Um, I know it's going to be hard, but you got to find positivity somewhere. My positivity, the reason why I got hooked on makeup, RuPaul Charles. I was just feeling so down and I was watching, uh, matter of fact, it was the very first season of RuPaul and it sees men, they're, you know, baby, I'm fierce, I'm working it, I'm the bomb and it just dawned to me, these are men impersonating women and they have so much confidence in themselves, even, you know, the overweight one, Latrice Royale, baby, that has been a big inspiration for me. You know, she does her. I'm Latrice, mother effing Royale. You know, I'm, I'm Danielle, Emma effing Brooks, okay? I'm gonna do me. Because being me works. You know, trying to be like somebody else. You know, we got too many posers in this world. So, just to you know, stay positive. It's gonna be hard. Get on the knees, go in a little quiet corner, and pray. Because he's gonna be the one that's gonna help you on your journey, no matter what you do.
So, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I redid my room, so that's why my mini-me is up in here lounging in my bed like he paid for it. So, I'm going to talk to you guys soon, and as soon as I get word, I will post information on my Facebook fan page. I don't want to do a video just, you know, for the 411 update, so if you haven't been on my facebook page fan page go ahead and check it out mac nc 45 i tweaked up the blog just a little bit but i need to update it because the last thing was that edgy emerald look and i did that a long time ago so i need to go in and add more posts and some more of my videos and um if you're on google go ahead and follow me as well uh when you go to the website there's like a little black bar to the right if you go over it with your mouse then the little menu pops out and you'll see, you know, profile, like, share. And then you'll see Google followers. So, but, um, jab it on enough. I'm about to get going. And hope y'all have a good one. Take care. Stay positive. Go Obama. <laughs> and, oh, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MacNC45 Attic. MacNC45 Attic at AOL.com. Y'all take care. Good night, guys.